What's up guys, it's Kristen here today to have you trash my TBR. Of course, let me explain first what I'm talking about. This was a video originally done a couple months ago by Emma from the channel Drinking By My Shelf. Absolutely amazing, go check her out. And then also I saw Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment do the same video a few weeks back. So basically you just go through your Goodreads TBR, not your physical TBR of ones that you've already purchased. And obviously I'm not gonna do every single book on my TBR, there's like over 400, but but I went through and selected ones that I do want to read but I'm not a hundred percent sold on. So if one of the books comes up and you've read it and you thought it was complete shit, then tell me in the comments down below why I should not waste my time with that. Because if you've been following my channel recently, you'll know that I've been in kind of a slumpish, crazy DNFing phase lately and like I'm sick of reading books that I'm not in love with. And also if you watch my channel you probably know my tastes a little bit by now so it would be a huge help. And also it's just tons of fun to rant about books once in a while. But inevitably you're probably also going to see some of your favorite books come up on this so if you need to gush a little bit about those ones that's fine too. So I've got my list here on my phone I just went alphabetically through by author. So the first book is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I don't think I'm gonna get many people trashing this one. I don't know why, I just can't seem to want to pick this one up, no matter how much people rave about it. Enchanted Islands by Alison Amend. This one's a gorgeous cover, so I don't want to be duped by that again. The Penelope Ad by Margaret Atwood. Consider Phlebas by Ian M. Banks. The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. The Cello by Paul Beatty Beatty. I swear this whole video is just gonna be me mispronouncing authors' names. Sorry about that. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Brown. I actually know somebody who went to the locations in this book, so I'm kind of intrigued by that. The Museum of You by Kara Spray. A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. I actually haven't read any Bill Bryson. I figured that would be a good place to start. A Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. The Dumb House by John Burnside. The Muse by Jesse Burton. The Book of English Magic by Philip Carr Gom. I don't know if this is fiction or nonfiction. The Stranger by Abel Camus. I don't want to mispronounce his name. Love these videos. Bert Camus was an extremely okay. handsome mid 20th century. Okay, yeah. The Queen of the Night by Alexander Chi. And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. The Hours by Michael Cunningham. House of Leaves by Mark Danielowski. Danielski? The Enchanted by Renee Denfield. Minority Report by Philip K. Dick. I absolutely love this film, even though it has flaws with it, but I really would like to read the source material. Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. As I've said before, I've only ever read one other Dickens and I was not a fan of it, so I'm always hesitant to pick up another. Viper Wine by Hermione Eyre. I'm assuming that's a pen name. Under the Skin by Michelle Faber. Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Of course, I have read Gone Girl and thought it was kind of average, so... I don't know if I want to pick up another one. In the Woods by Tana French. Nancy Boyce by Neil Gaiman. I absolutely love American Gods. I read it several years ago, so I don't know why I've always been hesitant to pick up this one. The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I feel like there's very uh, split opinions on this one. Chocolat by Joanne Harris. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. At least I think think that's the first book in whatever series. I haven't read any Robin Hobb. I don't know. Dune by Frank Herbert. High Fidelity by Nick Hornby. The Cider House Rules by John Irving. The Dark Tower series by Stephen King as well as 112263. The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera. Carmilla by J. Sheridan Le Fanu. Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. Pachinko by Minjin Lee. I feel like like there's been mixed reviews on this one, but oh, that cover is so gorgeous. Magic for Beginners by Kelly Link. 1491 and 1493 by Charles C. Mann. I feel like I would love these, but they're quite the commitment, so if they're not worth it, please tell me. Atonement by Ian McEwan. The Birth House by Amy McKay. If anybody has actually read this, I would love to hear about it. Because as a Canadian author, it's always very prominently displayed at the bookstore that I go to, but I honestly don't really know what it's about other than gleaning from the title and I don't know anybody who's actually read it. Cloud Atlas slash The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell. Dr. Shivago by Boris Pasternak. I'm waiting for 
the Russian lit booktubers to tell me how to pronounce that one properly. Night Film by Mersha Pessel. The Prestige by Christopher Priest. I actually bought this for my sister for Christmas, but again, I don't know anybody who's actually read it. The Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. I've actually read the first book in the series and was kind of eh on it, so I don't know if I want to continue on with it. Shantaram by Gregory David Roberts. I think this one is another massive tome, so really don't know if I want to commit to that. Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Touching the Void by Joe Simpson. How to Be Both by Ali Smith. Tiny Beautiful Things by Cheryl Strayed, and no, I have not read Wild. Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tukolk. The Just City by Joe Walton. Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters. Vile Bodies slash Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. I have read House of Mirth and wasn't really a huge fan of it. Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. The Imitable Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse. And last but not least, The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. So that is it for all of the books, at least this time. I mean, as I said, I've got like over 400 on this magical TBR list. So if you guys enjoy this video, hopefully I can do it again. So please leave all of your ranting comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.